Back to Good Vibes Television. That's right, GVTV on Digital Empath. Well, at Digital Empath Studios. I'm your boy RL. And once again, I'm with the lovely Savvy E and my man DJ PRS1. Good people, how are you doing? I'm fine. And how about yourself? I'm good. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm really good. I can't tell you why, but I'll tell you after the show why. But I am on cloud nine. Okay. What about you, sir? We good. We good. I'm, I mean, I was happy for the show last week. I mean, if you guys had saw this was on this was our new look, I think we've decided this is what we're going with. And I love it. And I love how this, how we sound. I love the ratings we got when, you know, I looked at the podcast and all that stuff. You guys are doing what you're supposed to do, which is watch us for free. And sub- like and subscribe. I'm, I'm loving it. Just keep 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 doing what you're doing. Keep enjoying us. I just want to say something. You was here last week. The week before. Okay. The week before. I was. I wasn't here. I, definitely, right, I was, I, I was here in spirit. You was okay. Because I was like, <laughs> I wasn't here. No sir. No yeah. sir. So so I so. Oh, before we go ahead, I'm, you know, I was talking to Savvy. We got to give a special shout out to our international. Uh, oh yes, people. I mean, I had. What was crazy was we have people in Belgium looking at the show. That's what's up. That's what's up. And I was like blown away. I was like, who? We, what language do they speak in Belgium? I don't even know. They must be incredibly bored. <laughs> <laughs> incredibly bored. Might be some military brat. I don't know, but probably. I want to say shout out to Belgium. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for looking at us. We appreciate it. Good vibes. Loving good vibes. That's right. <laughs> they hope it's something else happened. <laughs> Um, so this weekend, did y'all get a chance to um, take a look at the Chris Rock thing? I didn't. wasn't interested to watch I, it. I wasn't interested either until I got to work and people were talking about it. Mm-hmm. Did you see it? Mm-hmm. I, did, I didn't look at the whole thing, but I saw all the clips on, um, you know, social media. Social media had a lot of clips. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long week. Yep. <laughs> for Will Smith. And Chris Rock. It's gonna be a long week. It was. He I'm, had some good points. He did, so I'm a Chris Rock fan, mm-hmm. but Chris Rock hasn't been relevant in about ten to fifteen years. Right, right. You know, um, so I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Um, I just felt like the last part of it. He's a year late, you know. But I get it. You know, he used this to make some money. Mm-hmm. But this is the crazy thing. So, you know, his tour is his tour. You know, when he went on tour like two months after, mm-hmm. he already had a Netflix deal. Right. Two shows for $40 million. So this isn't like last Saturday was like, oh, we're going to get him to do a show because he got smart. It was already in place. Mm-hmm. So, you know, big up to Chris for getting that, that $20 million bag. You know. Um, I thought you said forty. For two, two, two shows. Okay. So it's okay. total of forty. All right. Do you um, think he worth that though? Twenty million? No. Yeah. yeah. Pookie, Me neither. Pookie is not worth. I didn't. That's why I didn't go <laughs> see him in Baltimore. The show was here in Baltimore. It was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 I was a little surprised when I seen it. The, the one of the clips say, "Hey, Baltimore." I was like, I didn't even hear about it. Yeah. Right. So that it didn't have a buzz. No. I mean, it's, I Chris, hear- it's Chris Rock. Like <laughs> everybody say, uh, Will Smith wouldn't have smacked the. Uh, you know, The Rock, right? Yeah, I get I, that. I wouldn't smack The Rock neither. Yeah, but <laughs> Chris Rock is somebody I would smack. Okay. He got a very punchable face. Really? Yeah. Okay. So he's somebody I would smack. So, you know, and y'all already know where I stand. Mm-hmm. I'm all for it. You know, yeah. I'm all for it. Because you always want to slap somebody, right? Not just that, but you know, you, granted, I know who it is. It's Jada Pinkett. Mm-hmm. And oh, she's yeah. And she's awful. I get that, right? Right. Right. But at the end of the day, that is my not so perfect chick, right. and I'm gonna stand up for her and defend her ball headed ass. And I'm gonna smack Chris Rock and everybody else. And 
well, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Me personally, mm -hmm. I, I told you, well, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Anybody can get it. Right. Any, mm, mm. Yeah. You gonna smack me, bitch? You gonna smack <laughs> my any, Kevin Hart voice? <laughs> yeah. Any anybody can get it. But um, his show was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, Chris, so I'm 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 happy for that. Mm -hmm. It was good, and he waited for the like last five minutes to speak on it. Um, I didn't know. I, you know what? That's because they had the car running out back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know, you know, yeah. Oh for yeah. Him to jump in. <laughs> He's fifty. I, I think these are my heroes. I watched him coming up. Chris Rock is fifty eight. Mm -hmm. he, he looks, looks good, though. He looks great. Good. And That's they say crack kills. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let me Pookie. let me tell you something. <laughs> At 57 years old, yeah. you should know if you say certain things, you're probably going to get hit in the face. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Too old to be stupid. So, I, again, I mean, I, I think we discussed this the last time we talked about that, that one episode we had called The Slap. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Something about the whole thing, to me, looked fake. It looked it looked put on. Like, it looked, you know how rap rappers had these beefs that was fake beef just yeah. to get notoriety? Yeah. That's how it felt to me. And I don't know. I still get that vibe every time I look at his lap. Well, well, let me smack you right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we might get another notoriety. <laughs> Make sure y'all catch that on camera, please. Yeah, yeah please. And, and so I wanted to see, did he sue? He didn't sue Wilson. No. Right? And uh, I was doing some more research. And it's really interesting because we don't think of them um, as far as employees and when they do these shows and yada, yada, yada. So because he was employed mm -hmm. by the Oscars, mm -hmm. if you sue Will Smith, right. you, you got to sue the them. Oscars. Right. Right? So right. which, if you sue the Oscars, you know, <laughs> you, you, you know that's it. You can get your money, but your career is over. Pretty much. Your career is over. Well, Shari Shepard said something different today. She was basically saying that she got slapped, she would have fell on the ground. And, you know, the show would have been called her show after that. So I guess she felt like she would have sued. Um, who? Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard. Who? Oh, my God. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It was a chance. Exactly. <laughs> she has her own talk show now, you know. And who watch it? I do. Well, I watch clips. So I don't watch the whole exactly. thing. Exactly. Well, a I mean, whole bunch pretty, of she, Sherry Shepard lookalikes. She funny. She, yeah, she's funny. Yeah, she's funny. She ever done the, um, the Oscars? Um, I don't know. <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah, so, so we moving too... right along. <laughs> moving right along. She ain't too funny. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? Maybe, maybe one day Sherry Shepard get her chance to get yeah. slapped. Yeah. Oh, get slapped? get slapped. I thought you were talking about get her chance to um host. No, nah, I'm sure she'll have a get, she, she get probably slapped already got first, <laughs> then be the host. I'm quite. She probably already got slapped. I, I want to think at one point she did WWE. For why? I, I, she she was on there as. Jennifer Hudson's remember Jennifer Hudson, remember Hudson's husband used to be on there. Yeah. Okay. So in part of one of the storylines, she was in love with him, and 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 she came out, and they had her on a couple of the uh, WWE episodes as, as the, his number one fan. You know, she will never get the Oscar now. <laughs> After you just said that, <laughs> never I'm, be. I'm, I'm telling you, it was crazy. I was like, it's what? It's crazy what people do for you know um, for money. Mm hmm. It, but this crazy thing is, because I know we got much, much more show. Uh, Chris Rock said um, the most addictive thing in America, in the world today, he was like, it's not opiates. Opiate. Op what is it? Opioids? Opioids. Opioids. I, see, I don't get high. Are you sure about that? Yet. <laughs> it's attention. <laughs> it is, that is oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. It's, most it, definitely. It's attention. Yeah. And it is true. It is so true. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? It is so, and he's and, and even though he said it, he's won because he has um, benefited from getting the shit smacked out of him. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. you know. Again, yeah. that's why I'm, I don't know. It could be. It could have been fake. It could. But I applaud him yeah. because, and he said it in his show. He didn't play the victim. He will never play the victim. Mm -hmm. I applaud him because he could have went on everybody's talk show right. and yeah. got a couple million dollars for speaking on this and speaking on that. So I applaud him in that sense. Yeah. Right. Right. It's just a. It's a year later. Who cares? It's Will, people still. Care. Will Smith got away with it. Yeah, but it's people that still care. Because because those are people who've been smacked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody care if you're the one giving the smack or punching. Everybody who's been smacked <laughs> unexpectedly is NFL. Okay. Yep. 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 It's their NFL. Okay. Just want to say, guys, if you want to input on any of the topics we're talking about, just. 
put it in the comments. We shall see. We'll be able to see your comments and respond. You can be a part of the conversation. Well, it's something up there. So let's talk about it. It's not there. I think it's just emojis for now. Yeah, it's probably. No, it's, it's something up there. It's not emojis. You know. Oh, let's keep the vibe. Oh, good vibes. Thank you. Thank you. Who's that? <laughs> Who? I don't know that person. That's that? y'all. Lord, have mercy. The, the man engineer. Made, made all this happen. Oh. He done walked out. Man. We don't know who the. <laughs> Mr. Engineer, man. Yeah. Y'all know I don't know people's names. I'm terrible with names. Yeah. Everybody need to name, I mean, wear a name badge. Mm -hmm. Like, even when I'm with my models, I'd be like, hey, girl, with the. Uh, they'd be like, Miss Savanya. I'm like, look, y'all need to have name back. I don't know. But you, you could not I'm terrible. give a man, you know, that 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 access. It's too easy. The hardest thing for a man is to ask a woman, what is your name? Mm -hmm. Really? So if I already see what your name is, I'm like, hey, Savannah, you what's up, girl? <laughs> Why would that? Hey, What's why, up, why, girl? Why okay. How you doing? I thought the hardest thing is to ask a woman her age. I don't care. As long as you look good, I ain't worried about your age. Oh, we ain't I trying mean, to have no kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, people say that. Like, I heard somebody say the other day, you should not ask a woman her age. And I'm like, why? Because if I'm here for a long time, I'm going to let you know I've been on this earth for this many years. I do not care. She didn't care. say it, though. <laughs> oh, I'm... <laughs> I'm 51. I tell everybody I'm 51 years old, and I'm proud of it. Five one. Yeah, I need a hand clap on yeah, she, that. You got, you got it. And a bow. Yeah. Cutie applause. And I need to be fed some grapes. How about that? I don't. Well, my man's next to you. Who slick back back on me? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, what uh one of the actors from the uh the spinoff of uh, <laughs> the, the Mayan version there. Oh Lord. So. Good people, we do have somebody here with us tonight. Yes, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. I'm so, waiting in the wings, so ready for this. She came in, caught me off guard, <laughs> caught me off guard, caught me being a gentleman though, because the old RL would have been like, <laughs> "How you doing? You're fine." Right, right, right. <laughs> she caught me. I'm, I'm on my my best behavior, savvy. I'm gonna let you do the honors. Okay, okay. So we have the lovely, the beautiful. Miss Amore with us today. How you doing, Miss Amore? Hey. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What you been up to? Been up to just trying to stay ahead of water, you know, head above water. Um, but also um, being a mom, of course, mm -hmm. which is a 24-7 job. But um, also, like, with my music, and um, I just had a mini documentary that I had been working on that's right. entitled Amore. Um, and yesterday, it actually was um, premiered in D.C. at the D.C. Independent Film Festival. Okay. Mm. Um, so I was super stoked about that. My emotions were, like, super high, though, because I had mixed emotions, you know. Um, it was about my late husband, and but also about me and how I'm able to um, heal through music and heal through my faith. And, right. You know, making sure that, that my daughter is also the forefront of all of this. Um, in addition to that, I was lucky enough to also, I'm not going to say lucky, I was blessed enough to um, also have the mini documentary submitted into two other um, festivals as well, which are the Bethesda Film Festival and the Merlin International Festival that will be going on March 23rd through 25th. So I'm like super stoked about that as well. I'm trying to make new connections, meet new people, and just have fun while I'm doing what I love. That's good. That's, That's good. That's How long good. did it take this documentary to be put together? So it took, uh, I would say about a few months to actually put it together, but for it to actually be seen, three years. Oh, wow. wow. Three years. So when they say patience is a virtue, mm -hmm. definitely patience is a virtue. You kept that hush hush. Yeah. You know, I like to work in silence sometimes, okay. you know, um, and two, I like to, for, for people to be surprised um, and you know, you can't tell people everything. That's, That's, right. Right. That's just, right. You right. got to make sure, you know, that you just working, working, working. And no matter if people hear about it or not, just come out with a bang. Yes, 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 yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, she is a singer, songwriter. So, tell us about how your music is going. So, right now, the music is going actually pretty good. Um, but, of course, I always see, like, there's room for improvement. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's during my artistry in itself, like, my stage presence, my voice, everything like that I have been working on. So, of course, people ask me, like, where's the new music? I'm like, look, we got to focus on this music that I have right now because somebody has not heard it. Mm -hmm. So right now it's like pushing that music, making sure that it's being heard, it's being understood, and it's not just, you know, one hit wonders or like right. just thrown aside, you know, even if it's used as a reference. I'm fine with that as well. 
um, because ultimately, like, my music, the way I write it, I feel like it's a story, you know, and I want people to actually not just read the, the footnotes, right? but read the entire book. Okay, okay. So with your uh, documentary, like, far as your daughter, what do you want her to get out of that? Um, so my big thing for her is, like, always ne- the competition that you have is yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. Like even her being five, I tell her your, your competition is you like, don't worry about necessarily being so competitive with another person because their lane may not be your lane. Right. And I want her to be able to make her own footsteps for her to be not even better than me, but better than those that may be around her. But like be that sponge, take what you need and descend with everything else. Um, so to get out of it, just being a great person knowing that she can persevere no matter what may go on and knowing that no matter who's in your life or not in your life, you are you and God made you the way that you are for that particular reason because you have a purpose of your own. All right. All right. That sounds good. I don't want to take a, take a, um, take up everything, everybody. So y'all got some y'all want to ask me? <laughs> so we can talk all night. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the, you know, the genre you saying, is it only one genre or do you try to, you know, be versatile in different genres as well. I think I try to be as versatile as, as possible. possible. Yeah, like, but I really love neo soul. Right. Um, and I love music that has meaning. Like, I'm I'm super big on that. So gotcha. when I when a lot of people when people say genre, I'm like, look, I just like music with meaning. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. Um, but I also sing gospel too. Um, I haven't yet recorded any gospel, mm-hmm. but I think I I'll eventually step into that. Okay. Okay. Um, like in terms of um, I guess your inspirations. What? Who would you say would inspired you to sing and or get into you know the whole music vibe doesn't have to be somebody famous could be somebody in the family yeah i mean honestly i think my faith has like transpired that to be honest um because it was like and then it being like an outlet for me Mm -hmm. um because at first it started with poetry then i started playing instruments and then eventually i came to sing um because I was like, maybe I can't sing. I don't know. I'm going to just try it out, you know? So, and that, that is an instrument as well. Yeah. Singing is also an instrument, so. Absolutely. Oh, y'all waiting for me to ask for it. <laughs> hey, it's up to you. So uh, you said that it took three years. Mm-hmm. For the documentary. For the documentary. Um, did your circle stay the same? Of course not. Nope. <laughs> the circle question. never stays the same. I think the more that you grow and the more that you learn your own value, mm-hmm. It never stays the same. And that's fine. I think I've I've come to the terms of acceptance. It's a good filter. It filters out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and shows you who's really real. Mm-hmm. Who's even, there for even you. Even when coming down to family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes people have titles and they feel entitled. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now you just have to, you know, be be okay with it. You know, right. sometimes it's, it's not always like an easy road. Right. It's not like, because so sometimes, you know, we want people to be your friend forever. We want people. Mm-hmm. But sometimes a person's forever is just their term that they're in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And what's that saying? If, you, if you're not here for my struggle, don't think you're going to be there for the success. Yeah. <laughs> so you should be getting some phone calls probably within the next week or two. You know what? Phone calls have started, which is crazy, uh-huh. it, since last night. Right. You know, and I really have been super busy where I sometimes can't answer the phone. And there's nothing personal, you know. But sometimes I just, I really do have to turn off my phone just to get clear headspace right it's not even about anybody else right now i'm just focusing on a more and that's just what it is absolutely awesome can i go again yeah go ahead i'm gonna go again you know what i'm I'm just because y'all was doing just (laughs) just excellent i'm just enjoying it um you said you have a a little girl how old is she she's five she's five Mm -hmm. any more kids (laughs) well there's just her yeah just her okay um that's a nervous laugh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Does she um, get to see mommy in action? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, she's she's there at the forefront um, a lot of times. She's been at the studio with me. She knows my songs, like, I think better than I know them. Mm-hmm. Um, but she, I, I always like to see her, see, I always like her to see me in my element mm-hmm. um, so that she can see every aspect of me. Like, I never want to hide anything from her. Um, because I want her to be transparent with me as well. So I give that right. to her so I can expect it from her as well. As well as, I, I'm, I'm assuming, you make sure uh, your circle is a good circle because she's with you all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I always say that kids see you first. Children, excuse me, see you first. So I definitely keep my circle, like, limited. Gotcha. And especially who I keep around her um, because 
um, these children soak up everything. Mm-hmm. Right. So, mm-hmm. And even when it comes down to like people's energy, mm-hmm. if your energy is off, mm-mm, back up. <laughs> Cause I gotta, I'm here to protect her. So right. I don't protect her by any means. No, that's what's up. And mm-hmm. I asked that because I remember um, watching the Bobby Brown show used to come on on Sundays mm-hmm. and you know, uh, his daughter, Christina, mm-hmm. the way, like, she was always with Whitney. Mm-hmm. Always with Whitney, right? And Whitney was just, it was a chance for everyone to see Whitney for Whitney. Right. And she was so raw. And it was like she wanted her daughter with her. And her daughter saw everything, right? Everything. To the point where, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, Bobby doesn't own the rights to that. Her, her family barred um, that wow. show from being on Netflix or when we was buying, you know, box sets and stuff like that. But it always like bothered me. Like I'd be watching the show and Bobby Christina seen mm-hmm. everything. Yep. And then as she got older, you seen the effects how of it, everything. How it affected her. Right. right. Because she, you know, you would have thought she was uh, sold a hundred million records and, you know, she was very, I hate to say it, you know, disrespectful to Bobby. You know, even though Bobby isn't the best role model, you know, but that's why that's why I asked when well, you know, because even though you might not be at Whitney status, mm-hmm. but like you say, children see everything, mm-hmm. and I think most important now, like the ground floor is the most important floor because this is where you, you are at your realest. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you're honest at this level now. You know, people tend to change um, as they move on because. Everything around them change. Exactly. Right, you right. Know, money change. Right. You know, you might get smacked at the Oscars and stuff. Like Here we that. go. Things. I think you want to get smacked. I think you want me to smack you in my phone because <laughs> I think you will get I smacked. Am, I will sue. You can I, sue me. I, I have no. Suing in the I don't have any money, so sue on, sir. I, sue I'm it. Telling you that Lexus outside would be mine. I will drive it go to ahead. Jimmy the Boxer. Not no. <laughs> don't do that. And I will get something for it. I'm. You know how they say drop flames in the comments? Drop some slaps in the comments. <laughs> you know? But the piggyback off of what he was saying about um, your daughter saying everything, when you do get to that status, because we know you're going to get there, mm-hmm. um, how do you protect her from that? From so, seeing everything? So I think, too, it's, it's a matter of like putting protection first around myself. Okay. Um, mm. Because, you know, we're no good to anybody if we don't take care of ourselves first. Absolutely. So I think understanding, you know, who's around, like not being oblivious mm-hmm. to what's going on, you know, uh, really pay attention, have my eyes open. Like I know as parents, we can't be there 24-7. Right. So that's why like my circle is, will be tighter than like, mm-hmm. um, even in regards to her, you know, luckily I have the support system that I need for her, um, you know, despite the situation that may be going on because I am her only parent. Right. So I, I'd be like, you know, I go I go to war for mine. Yeah. And there's yeah. no questions asked. Um, so it's just having that same mentality, not losing focus of who's important because she's important. And ultimately like I wouldn't even wouldn't be here without her. Right. Right. You know, I yeah. mean, you know, as parents I think that we are so focused like who's the parent, who's the child? When really the the roles kinda flip sometimes. Yeah, it does. Um so I don't. I, I just want to make sure that our relationship is tight. You know that she understands what my what my dream is, but not to lose focus of who she is and what she means to me. Right. So I want to just get off um topic a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I know I think it was a year ago, maybe a year ago, two years ago, that you did a little acting. I think it was a year ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah speak about that a little bit. How how did you feel from doing what you do now to going into that, and what made you want to do that? I mean, it was, so I was on the set of We Own the City. Right. And it was like, uh, I, w- I reached out to Thea Washington and she was like, hey, I got Big ups to Thea. Big ups to Thea because they're always looking yes, at Yes, she is. Um, so definitely reached out to her and she sent me the information. And I was just like, I'm going to just try and see. You know, why not? Why not? It doesn't hurt anything. I won't know what will happen unless I try. So tried it. And it was like crazy on a set. It's like they tell you, go here, go there. Boom, you got to move fast. Everything is so fast paced. But I'm like, that's my life. So I should be good with it, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so eventually, like just getting to know people, talking to people, even if I didn't even know them. How you doing? What's your name? You know, just just not being afraid, get stepping out of my box. So it helped me a lot to step out of my box to be uncomfortable because I'm like, the only way you can grow is to be uncomfortable. Mm. So I, it, it was a great experience for me. 
um, it was definitely like, they were like, oh, you right there, come here. I need you to do this, this, this. I was like, okay, whatever. They had the police lock me up. I was like, I never had handcuffs on in my life, right? <laughs> so they were laughing. I was I was like, but I'm serious. Like, this right here, I don't, I don't know about this. Like, I don't like play, play, like, with no handcuffs. Bro. Right. So, but it was all good. Like, I, I really enjoyed myself. I'm glad that I was able to get um, meet new people. And I still came in contact with some of those people. So it was definitely a blessing. Like, I didn't even care if I was holding something, a cup or whatever, you know, I was just appreciative to be in the space. Would you do it again? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right. So on a typical, let's say Saturday morning when you're not a more, <laughs> what is a typical Saturday morning for you when you get up in the morning? Typical Saturday is, I feel, well, especially this Saturday. Mm-hmm. Like I, Cause mm-hmm. my daughter just does cheerleading. Right. So normally I'm up trying to get her dressed, get myself dressed. We're going to cheerleading competitions. I'm trying not to like be crazy because I have to be cheer mom. Gotcha. Making sure snack bags are together. So basically mommy duties is yeah. when you're not doing a more, yeah. it's mommy duty. Yeah, absolutely. Gotcha. Absolutely. Only today it was like, all right, let's go to the park today. You know, let, and I, I went to go shoot shoot some hoops real fast. Right. She went to go swing on a swing. So it was like, okay, we can do this. You shoot hoops? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you caught his attention. What was that about? <laughs> you shoot hoops? I mean, like, I mean, like, shoot hoops. Like, w, like the WNBA hoops. Like, people oh. don't carry a basketball in the trunk without a purpose. Right. I shoot okay. hoops. So she telling me. She shoot hoops, okay? <laughs> okay. No, I was gotta ask. You I play. Know, I look. Gotta ask. NBA jams, man. That's it. <laughs> yeah, we know you don't. Play. <laughs> He got a basketball. I'm, like, they, hey, yeah, yeah, he carries the basketball. Yeah, I'm, as long as it's state basketball side, so not beach ball, I'm good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we all are getting silent. No. Um, <laughs> so, the documentary was this past weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, you said the phones have been ringing. Do you have any expect? Well, you know, I don't want to say expectations, but you know, with the documentary being released this weekend. Well, I guess, yeah, do you have any expectations or anything that you want, like you plan, like, okay, if it goes good, this is what should happen. I should hopefully hear from some people or anything. Like, do you have a plan? Like, if you do get a phone call, if you don't get a phone call, if weeks go by. So is the phone call, who's the phone call for? Anybody. I'm just, I don't like, like, you know, if I was to drop a documentary, you know, this past weekend, you know, outside, I don't, yeah, my mom can call me. That's great. It's my mom. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm like, yo, can, like, how dope is it? Like, uh, well, Netflix call me, call me or who? Amazon or Amazon or, right. or something like that, you know? I mean, to be honest, it's, it's like my biggest thing at this particular moment is like really just getting the memory of my husband out there. It It, it wasn't, when I started it, it wasn't for the fame it wasn't for anything further except mm-hmm. for make sure that people know that he's not just a homicide number of baltimore but now you know actually seeing it for myself on a big screen i was like yo this could be so much bigger right. I, I never even thought about it until yesterday when i actually saw it and i got the reactions from people people that i had i don't even know right you know are coming to me like you know you're inspiring you, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. so that, to actually hear that from a stranger not a friend that's trying to pat you on the back it was like, I know that there, the possibilities uh, are limitless. And if I was to get a phone call from, you know, uh, anybody, as long as it feels right and my team agrees, we would definitely go forward. So I, I didn't know if it was a safe to ask about. Oh, yeah, it's safe. Okay. So uh, can you speak on your husband a little bit? Um, yeah. So his, his name is, was Tyrell Williams. Um, he was uh, murdered when I was eight months pregnant in 2017. Um, it was like probably like one of the most um, soulless types of feeling I've ever felt in my life, even while carrying life. Mm. Um, but when my daughter was born, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even want to hold her because I was like, yo, what am I going to do with this baby? Like, I did not plan on having this baby by myself. Right. You know, um, and I seen like how my mother, like she was a single mom. I mean, she thugged it out. Hats off to her. But I was like, mm-mm. I might have a blood, but I ain't built for this. <laughs> but you never know what you're built for until right. you actually go through it, you know. So just like, I think for like probably like the first year, I was kind of absent from her. Like I was there, but I wasn't there. And it was like, 
you know, doctors were trying to pump me up with medication because it was like I was having dreams and waking up in sweats and I couldn't sleep. And it was just like, at one point I wasn't producing milk. And I was just like, man, I got to figure out something, you know? So, I mean, I will say like between being in church and my faith, it's really like what motivated me to be like, you got to pick up, pick up your bootstraps and, and keep it pushing because, you know, when people say rest in peace, it's not for the person that has passed on. Mm-hmm. I believe that it's for people that are here. Right. Because we do have sleepless nights. You know, we have times where we just are weary. But sometimes, I mean, I think I got what I prayed for. And people right. look at me like, what? What you mean? And constantly I was praying for my husband husband's peace. I didn't know that it would be his demise. Mm. But maybe that was the only way he would get it. Mm. That's deep. That's deep. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. And thank you for um, sharing that with us. Of course. So going back to basketball, <laughs> a little birdie just popped on here. Shout out to Miss um, Stacy Jefferson. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, she used to coach basketball. Who? She was a basketball coach. That's, uh, that's what Stacy says. She cool. said, That's her yeah. manager. <laughs> she said, Yeah, she was a coach. Don't be humble. That's what she yeah, said. Yeah, I was a basketball coach for at Vanguard <laughs> Middle School for girls. Right. Yeah, it was, it was oh, fun. Oh, so you could ball for real. I could do a little something. Okay. You got, be- you got a new best friend. Yeah. That's ball so up. hard. That's yeah. what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think ball so hard? Did you think ball so hard? Yeah, ball so hard. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but shout out to your man, Just Stacy. She is an awesome person. Yes, yep. yes, yes. Hey, you actually got here. You know what? I We're not know. even going to talk about that. Is anybody watching that's yeah. supposed to be here that didn't show up? Um, I don't. No, I don't see anything. So the if people they get that it, are here are supposed to be here. They, yep. Amen. Right, amen. Right. We ain't going to speak about yeah, people being not, unprofessionals. Let's, let's not throw people <laughs> under the bus. We, we, oh, no, never, let's, never yeah, do yeah, that. Let's not mm-hmm. do that. You mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Never do that. You know. I'll see you again. Whenever. 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 We didn't want to occupy their Mondays. I told I told you it's something about Mondays, man. I told you. Manic Monday. Monday Night Raw. I told you. It's something about- I mean, I feel that because, you know, I wanted to do the show on Tuesdays and here we sitting here on Monday. But, hey. It's Taco Tuesday. I'm just a little, you know, little thing. Oh, wait, 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 whole, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This whole before, big scheme before, of things. Before we go forward. Uh-oh. Oh, the fight. The gloves about the come. I know. We had a conversation. About yeah. which day? And Yo, you we, said Monday or Tuesday. I said Monday or, or but Tuesday. I prefer Tuesday, but we couldn't get Tuesday. So that's why we're here. I on prefer to be rich, but I still got to go to work every day. Mm-hmm. But that's your problem. I prefer to be oh tall. That's your problem. We, we're no longer talking to you. It's going to be <laughs> in savvy conversation. You just wait your turn. Yeah, I prefer to be tall. <laughs> They're waiting on that. <laughs> Yeah, right. when we take pictures, please don't stand beside me, though. Not, we not doing that no more. You got to do the box oh, thing. Lord, like back Lord. in Hollywood, we put a little box and I got to stand on the box. So so we got to repost the picture that we took <laughs> two weeks ago. So y'all can see DJ PRS1. He looked, like, he looked like he constipated. I don't know what he was doing in the picture. Mm. But he got his fist balled up. <laughs> Chest, I didn't know what chest happened. stuck out, and you can, as a man with a stomach, I know what he's doing. Is he's trying to <laughs> suck his gut in, but he got like, and he looked like Donkey Kong Jr. I'm like, Sam, you see this picture? He people he posted, right? I said, I'm cropping him out. <laughs> like, oh, he's, I don't, I don't know, know what happened, and and the one that was posted was the better of the three, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. definitely, definitely. Mm. I don't know if I wasn't ready. I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know. I had a, it's an old guy moment. Oh God, moment. The oh. saying is, if you get ready, you're always ready. So you got to stay ready, sir. Mm. And and we I'm, talked about that two weeks ago too. We say we are ready. We have our blue chews. We have our Viagra. And we have our hems. hems. We are ready. Okay. When you get to our age, you you have to be prepared. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. Right. You know. So um, we were talking. I'm waiting for this comment to drop. Early comment from Pam. From oh, oh. shout out to Pam. She on there. She's she, probably outside. She, she posted earlier. She met Jimmy the boxer. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's Pam Spice? That's Pam. Oh, she said something. <laughs> she she met Jimmy the boxer. That's what y'all divorced said. now. Oh no. Yeah, she, Pam Spice. Yeah. Oh, Trinity Spice. There you go. Oh, it makes sense. So if you do get a divorce, yeah, she's getting high. Yeah, she's, right. the she's going to get the spice part. You get to keep the Trinity part. Right. That is fucked up. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, smart woman, smart woman. Yep. You know yes. what? You know what? Shout uh, out to Miss Pam for being smart. Mm-hmm. Chris Rock's. And I, I Shout hate out. to bring Chris Rock name up again, but he said the same thing on his show. He said um, his wife is probably the smartest woman mm-hmm. he's ever known. Um, you know, she has just as much money as he do, and she's not funny. She doesn't do movies or anything, right? <laughs> And I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I, don't know, I don't know what it is because I've been divorced before, mm-hmm. right? And I didn't have much for her to get, but she took it. Yep. Right? Um, what, the sunglasses? No, not the sunglasses. You know what? I don't even have... So all I wanted was my TV. Mm-hmm. She got the house and she got the cars. Okay. Right? I just wanted the TV. But, men, we just get so weak when it gets... When we get in that courtroom and it comes to the woman that we used to have really good sex with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you, like as a man, I'm, and this is really bad. Like we think of all the times we had incredible sex with this woman that we are either breaking up with or divorcing. Right. Uh-huh. And she's sitting at the table thinking, I'm going to get everything. And my next man is going to share it with me. And all I'm thinking about is, I don't see that ass clap no more. <laughs> Man, we, we're just we're just so shallow. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. We are so shallow. Not yep, all of us are. Yeah. No, <laughs> Mister, I got a safe face. Yeah, he's doing that because Miss Pam spicy. No, I wasn't talking about me. I'm, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, my wife, my wife. I'm short, not so to I'm watch shallow the show as they come. Anymore. You say what? My wife choose not to watch us anymore. Why? Because I'm just too much. Oh, well, she knew that when she. I thought you were just getting tired of hitting you with the pillow all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. shout out to Zoom. You know, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but I, I'm behaving myself. Uh, really, I'm behaving myself. They they will let you know because I would have said a lot of incredible things too. That's only because he got um a new position and he can't say a lot of things. So I just feel like he should quit that job so we can have a little <laughs> RL back. Let me you tell know. you something. This is getting on my nerves. That you know. cancel culture is real. <laughs> it is real. It is real, and again, I'm have to bring Chris Rock up because he spoke about it on the Lord. show. And it, but this is the crazy that, thing. He, he's talking about it because he was watching it in the car before we got up. Yeah. Here, so mm-hmm. yeah. So, so, it, so Chris, if you're watching, you need to be on the show. The fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but look, it is it is so real because he was speaking about you know just everyday ordinary people, right? Who have to be careful mm-hmm. about what they say at the job or in mm-hmm. grocery stores or just. And I was like, yo, that is so true because I got this new position. And I love the position. I love everything about it. But I know that if I come on here and I am RL from last year, I will be fired. Oh, my God. But let's bring our guests into this conversation. Like, what you do in life and where you going and, you know, as an artist, how do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel like things that you have to keep to yourself or can't show because, you know, people are looking at you. I mean, like, I'm, I've always been, like, a person that really don't share a whole lot. Um, mm-hmm. and, I mean, that's probably how I was taught, ultimately. Mm-hmm. But so it kind of worked out. You know, I kind of got the practice as I was growing up, and I just amplify it now um, because, I mean, people look at everything, mm. everything, whether it's from your past, whether it's from present, even if it's something that they might have heard. Mm-hmm. And don't even know who you are. Don't even really want to know. They just want to know what's the tea, you know. So I think just trying to censor everything for myself, like trying to even down to my life, um, how I move, um, things that I do, things that I say, because people people are watching, even when you think they are not watching. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, just I mean, it's, sometimes you do just necessarily have to walk on eggshells. Hate it, but yep. it is what it is. Um, as real as you want to be, sometimes you just can't be too real. Mm-hmm. Ain't that the truth? Yep. Ain't that the truth? There's a lot Which, of different levels and variations of censorship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's awful though. It, it is. It's really it is. awful because you got a church censorship. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to feel like I can't be me. And this, exactly, that was one of my. Um, and that's right. why a lot of people say, not a country, but that's why a lot of people say, if you don't like what I say on my social media, get off my page. That's all you got to do. <laughs> right. If you don't like me or like what I say or anything, then just, you know, delete yourself, mm-hmm. um, remove yourself, because I don't go around anybody. Obviously, you want to come around me. Right. So you know I'm going to probably say something. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. And, and I tell people all the time, you know, 
Why you, yo, if you let me be me, things will be great. Let right. me be me, things will be great. Watch what y'all say on the show. The kids are watching. Like, fuck, fuck them, them kids. kids. <laughs> but yo. you know what? I think, too, a lot of people are scared for other people to be themselves because they don't know how to be themselves. Yeah. Hey, like, how so, about that? so it's like they, they, they admire you being yourself, but they also hate it because they can't necessarily either find themselves or be themselves. Right. Yeah. You know what? And that's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say at work Wednesday when we have our meeting. <laughs> I'm like, y'all bitches just hating on me. Right. Because you won't be, be yourself. yourself. Right. And, and, but that's, but you know what? I agree with that because I did mention to them and, you know, I won't, oh my God, fuck it. I'm going to say it anyway. Oh, Lord. But I told, but I said, I said, look, everything is scripted. It's, it, it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel genuine. Our interaction mm-hmm. with people. I'm a, I like to, talk to people. I like to deal and work with people. Right. It doesn't matter who you are. I, I don't care if you, you're you gay, you're an alien, we're all humans. I, I don't mind working with you and helping you out if you need help. But if you make me go by a script, right, right, I can't help you the same way. Nope. Mm. Because the corporate script is, 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 is it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Everything is, okay, you do this, do this, but at this point, you got to let them go, right? Whereas if I'm not going by the corporate script, I can actually help this person. Right. And even if this person ain't going to stay with the company, I know I can get them to some somewhere else that's better fit for them. Mm-hmm. But the, the corporate script, and I'm telling you, I'm so happy it didn't get to y'all yet, but it's coming. Yep. It's coming. It is awful, and I feel bad because, you know, I'm talking to people, and I hear what they're saying. But that's all I'm doing because I already know what I'm going to say because I have a script. Right. Right. You know, and, um, you know, like I said, it might get back. It might not. If it do, I, you know, you ain't got to watch this. And, but the crazy part is that that corporate script changes and grows almost weekly, monthly because of all the new LGBTQ, you, who you identify, pronouns, sure. all this kind of crazy stuff. Don't even get it, me. It, it's crazy now. You got you got to be real respectful when you talk to certain people a certain way and not address this one and not address that one. It's 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 it's, it's, it's almost too much. It's like a whole other language you got to learn. This would be this should be actually a subject in school right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Social social development, something like that. I don't I, know. I need to be a part of that I, community. Right. I need a letter because. Uh, <laughs> being a heterosexual do not exist anymore. You need you need your own letter. I need my own letter, right? Before they take them all, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, R. I'll take R. <laughs> Just take R. I'll Just take say R. Yeah, right. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, you can't you can't put your reality on me. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. You can't. Nope. Like if I see a duck, I know it's a duck. Right. I can't. I'm not going to have that duck tell me he's a dog. Right. You know, but, but I he, get it. He identifies as a Drake. <laughs> you, you, you know? As a Drake. It's a different kind of duck. <laughs> you know, like Swan. So I, I get it, right? Who the hell is <laughs> I I don't know. It, you can tell he now, had, I'm a duck, but my pronoun is Drake. He had he had a bunch of those with MR duck t shirts <laughs> right. and them little shoes and rain boots. Man. My yeah. gosh. But you know, that is so true. So um at my workplace. Um, I'm not gonna shout my workplace out. Um, but anyway, yeah, at my yeah, work, yeah. Look, 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 look. <laughs> at my workplace, she just jumped on and said, "R for real man, <laughs> real <laughs> man." I um, love Pam. <laughs> I got a phone call saying that if we, um, if someone come up to us and we have to identify them as a certain thing, and mm-hmm. I asked the person, I said, "Well, if I don't, if you look like a man, I'm going to identify you as a man." Right. You know, if you look like a woman, I'm going to identify you as a woman until you tell me different. Until you tell me otherwise. Yeah. yeah. I, we had a situation. I'm not a mind reader. Right. We had a situation where um, a, a guy came in and we asked him for his credentials and he showed us a, his credentials and it had a picture and it was a female. So on they, the picture. So, wait a minute. So wait a minute. He looked like, well, it was a, he looked he, like, he looked like a man. Right. But on his ID. It was a female. It was a female. Yeah. So... <laughs> You know, I had to go through the procedure of going through the hoops because I'm like, you don't look like this picture right here. Mm-hmm. So I got to go a little further. And the thing about it, um, what I liked about the person, they didn't take it personal. Right. They, you know, they they work with us and they had no cause about it. But you have people that will come that would deal with that situation different, you know. And it's like, well, if you don't tell me, how would I know? 
Because if I come to you, like you said, you look like a duck, I'm going to call you a duck, even though you want to be called a crocodile. I don't know. You know, so my thing is, I guess what? I really don't even know what to say. Like, really, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Because, look, I just, what, got on an airplane last month. All right? Guess what? I'm not sure what the procedures are there or will they, you know, divvy from it. But if you don't look like your ID, you ain't getting on that plane. Right. Mm -hmm. You ain't even getting past the uh, TSA. You, you see what I'm saying? And, yep. But would there be, you know, uh, you know what? It's cool. We understand you're part of the community. Come on. Uh, we got another wave. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's not fair. And I think that's the problem that people have. It's like, yo, everything, it, it should be fair for everybody across the board. Should nobody, you know, oh, it's okay. We know you're supposed to look like your ID. Well, you know what? But I think a lot of people, or a lot of people, um, it's it's out of fair or out of, because I don't know and I don't want to step on eggshells. I don't want to lose my job. Let me just kind of back, go ahead. Go ahead. Just do you. But that's what they you know do, what I mean? though. Because you don't want to, you don't know how to challenge it because it's, 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 am I in my realm to challenge it? You know what I mean? It's, you second guess yourself a lot. You yeah, know, but you, know I mean? you know why? You also don't want to challenge it, right? Right. Because you don't know who haven't come out the closet. Right. Right. And you ain't if you're going to get that smack. It, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me read something real quick by, from um, Butler 21. He said it's called socialism. And, and we live, I guess he was trying to say, and we live in, Today, in our lives today or something like that. But basically he's saying it's called socialism. And that's, that's you know, that's that's real. Right. That's Dang. real. So I want to loop Miss Amore back into the loop real fast. Um, can you do something a cappella or poetry-wise? I'm putting you on the spot, aren't I? Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Just give us, give us a piece for all our fans out there. Everybody's listening. Everybody's watching. And they, you know... Do it. Do your thing. All right. I've been feeling you for a while now. I'm feeling your style. I want to get to know you more than just my friend. I hope you understand and you feel the same way too. I've been seeing you go through ups and go through downs. I've seen you grow from a boy to a man. And maybe all I want to do is just prove to you that all women, we ain't the same. Baby, let's vibe, let's ride, you and I, we can do it all night. Baby, let's vibe all night, let's ride, rock into the morning light. And I ain't trying to play no games. Do you hear me, baby? Ooh, I just want to vibe with you. All right, I like that. Oh, my Yes, God. yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, so, that's Miss Amore. Yeah, so RL got to come out. RL got to, girl, where have you been? I've been married about 14, 15 years. If I'd have met you a year before her, y'all would be violent. I'd have had to lock you down. Let me, girl, that voice there, you Appreciate can sing me you. to sleep. Hey. You can sing me to sleep. Well, make sure you listen to my EP, which mm -hmm. is available on all streaming platforms. All right. It's okay. I am Amore. And you can also find it on my IG as well. Mm -hmm. My IG is also I am a more. Okay. Anything a more is me. So yeah, real name, birth name, stage name, all that good stuff. Girl. So tell us what um, you got going on with projects or events you got going on. Um. So of course I have the mini documentary, of course, um, right. which is also entitled A More. Um. Again, that is we'll be filming at Bethesda Film Festival as well as the Merlin International International Festival, which is in Hagerstown. So those dates are from March 23rd to March 26th. Uh, tickets are available. Link is also on my bio um, and my Instagram. Uh, and I also have the fashion show coming up May the 13th with Miss Savanya. Fashion and I'm, statement. Yes, please, guys. I'm so yes, honored for that. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm ready um, because I haven't performed um, this year yet because I am seriously working on my craft. Um, so my my first performance will be at the fashion All state. Right. I feel blessed. Yeah, and honored. absolutely. Me as well. Um, it's always a pleasure. So I'm, I'm definitely like just excited. I'm I'm super excited and super stoked just to be able to use my voice again and be able to just have fun with it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Are we mm -hmm. gonna be there May 13th? You know, th this is what I don't understand about you. 
because now I'm going to get in, into your stuff. I've been saying that you and this gentleman over here is going to be doing red carpet. I knew. I knew. I didn't know what he was talking We've been about. talking about this. I'm not understanding why you keep forgetting. May 13th? May 13th? Why? What's going on May 13th? Is I don't know. Is that new corporate? Uh, the new corporate um, RL, that's why. Yeah, that probably is. Yeah. yeah. If you don't put it on my calendar, then. Yeah. Who going to put it on your calendar? You got to put it on my calendar. Uh, who, me? Yeah. Uh, I don't work for you. <laughs> Can we get a hand clap? Boom. <laughs> Awful. Mm-hmm. Awful. So May 13th, red carpet. You will be there. I'm going to be there just for you. I ain't going to be there for the red carpet. Oh. <laughs> I ain't be there for you because I want to hear you sing live. And Savvy always throw, uh, like, the best events, you know. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You do. You do. Me and, me and, me and PRS1 always wind up. Yeah. Staring at a whole bunch of half naked women. Um, it's a good time. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. What's up, uh, Mr. Elliot? Got Lamont Elliot checking us out. What's up, brother? Right, right. Um, it's always a good time, <laughs> though. It's always a good time. And we got Pam on there talking about she got a new project for her um, a line of lullabies just for the guys. Oh, <laughs> oh. Girl, you can say, I'm tired. Yeah. Good sleep, girl. Beautiful voice, Thank beautiful you. voice. So, uh, do we have anything? Well, I don't need to talk to you. We already talked about your project. Oh, PRS1. Uh-huh. What you have coming up, baby? Not much. I um I do my other podcast <laughs> coming up pretty soon. I got a, a couple of guests coming up. I'll, I'll put that on the social media. Um, other than that, the so- I got Trini Spice FM, Soka Station, jamming all over the place. We They listen to me in Belgium, too. <laughs> They must be really yep. bored in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, 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 everybody's digging the Soka vibe right now. I guess it's so it's going to be carnival all over America now because, you know, they're, nice. they just left Trinidad and they're going to be toying all over the states. So you got like the Labor Days coming up. You got Baltimore Carnival. You got all these carnivals coming up. It, it, it's getting, all these festivals are getting crazy now. I got to ask you. Because I know we got uh, guests coming up in the, in mm-hmm. the future, near future, right? Mm-hmm. You know who I want on the show, Raymond. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we got to get Raymond. And um, so I just want to say, and, real and quick. his sister, and his sister. Yeah, I just want to say real quick. Raymond lost his dad about two or three, two or three months, about a month ago. Oh, I'm sorry. So to hear that. His father was sick. His father passed away. You know, shout out to Raymond. Um, and we send our condolences to you and your family. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you were a great friend to us. You know what I mean? The, the, the you know. We enjoyed your show when you came down, you know, and I got to tell everybody, Raymond Ramnarain is so down to earth. Yeah. You know, you would never think. We were blown away when we saw the, these people came from all over, not even just Maryland. They came from uh, New York and they were from Guyana and different places. There was an old lady grabbing on to Raymond. Grabbing his, <laughs> grabbing his man. genitals. Yeah, man. Yeah. Man. It was wow. It was, it was, he he didn't move though. No, nope. he stayed right there yep. and kept getting his. But he massage. was. He's so versatile in terms of different, you know, great showmanship. Music. Yeah, great, great showmanship. showmanship. Yep, he rocked the show. He did. He did. he was entertaining the whole time. He was, and he was so cool. Mm-hmm. And, and the cool thing about it was, he was so cool, even though they were backstage uh, arguing over the payout. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> look, we, hey, look. He's such a we gentleman. Thought, we thought they were gonna get the shooting in the back. Me and G <laughs> both was like, yeah, it's time for us Let's to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord. They start that that and New Raymond, York accent broke out. It's like, oh, they start speaking Spanish. Oh yeah, it's time to go. Yep. You're about to shoot out here. He 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 came off the stage, gave him gave me a sweaty hug, and rolled to the back. I was, was like, damn, good people, great showmanship. <laughs> I mean, really like the dude. Mm-hmm. You know, really like the dude and uh, his sister as well. Right, she still well, we wants to Nihilet, N- yeah. Nihilet Blackman. Oh, did it, it, that's the light, right? What? Oh, yes, okay. So um, we got the light. I ain't got nothing going on in my life. Uh, so <laughs> that's about it. We want to thank the lovely. Amor. Like, Amor. I don't want to say it wrong because I need to stay on your good side. Mm-hmm. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for yep. having me. Oh, awesome, awesome. You, you you did good this time. Who, me? Yes. Um, so wrapping it up, right? Because right. we're not used to the lights. I'm looking at them like, okay, whatever. whatever. But <laughs> Uh, appreciate everyone that tuned in again and been supporting us for three, four seasons, something like that. Right. Um, every other Monday, uh, check us out, and we're out. GBTV, peace. Boom. <laughs>
Thank you.